Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the C++ series. This time I'm going to teach you how to use structures with functions. Alright, so we learned a lot about structures so far. We learned how to make them, access them, and even use them with arrays. So let's go ahead and show you how you can use them with functions. So there's actually nothing special about it. You can do it the exact same way that you've been doing it with regular variables. But uh, that being said, let's just uh, show you anyway so that we can get some practice for it. Um, with using structures with functions, okay? So again, for this episode, let's make a structure for us to use. So we'll make a structure called book. And a book will be, it'll have a title. A title. Book will have an author. And a book will have an ISBN. If you don't know what the ISBN number is, this uh, big number that comes with every book so that you can identify a book. Um, every book has an ISBN or if they don't have an ISBN, then they have a ASIN. It's another type of identifier. But yeah. Anyway, so let's get rid of that also. There we go. So now that we have our book that we can uh, use here, um, we can start using it, obviously. So what we're going to do first is make a simple function that is able to take a book as a parameter. Okay. So void, we'll call it display book. And it's going to take a book as a parameter. So book, book. And that's all you got to do. So it's the same thing as a primitive type. So it's going to accept a book as a parameter. And as you can see, it's passing it by value, not by reference, meaning that if you pass in a book into this function here, it's going to be copied into a separate, another variable, basically. And I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So first, let's actually code out what it's going to do. So um, the book here is going to have some information it's just like the title, the author, and the ISBN. So let's just display all the information to the user. So book info in line. So let's see out uh, book that title. Let's say written by, and then the name of the author. So book dot author. So the title of the book space written by space the author's name. And then finally, we'll have the ISBN number that I just told you about. So ISBN number book.ISBN. All right. Very good. And um, let's think here. What else? So why is this red here? Expected a semicolon. Um, yeah, that's OK. That's just a glitch, I guess. Anyway, so now that we have this function here that we can use, we can test it out. So we're going to need a book to pass into it. So let's pass in, well, let's make a book here. So book, book is equal to, and we're gonna make a new book here. So I'll just put one of my, one of the books I like. So 12 rules for life. And that's by Jordan Peterson. And we will say, um, well, the ISBN number is 0345816021. Six zero two one. Totally, I totally remember that. I have that in my head, um, one hundred percent. And so now that we have this book here, we can then pass it into the display function if you want to. So display book, and then pass in book. And so now we have the book to work with here. So let's run this now and see what happens. It should be able to take this book and then print all the information for it. Pretty simple, right? Let's see if it works. All right, so we've got our book here. As you see, so this book, oops, oopsie daisy. Let me just bring this back up. So it says book info, 12 rules for life, written by Jordan Peterson, and then ISBN number 0345816021. So pretty cool. That's how um, you can pass in a structure to a function, which is very simple. Of course, if you want to be, um, if you want to think about performance here, then what's a better way you can do this? If you if you think about it, it'd be actually better to pass it in by reference, right? A constant reference, actually, because what we're doing here is we're just taking a book and displaying it to the user. We're not editing the book in any way. Um, so basically, since we're passing it in by reference, um, we have this book structure here that we've declared, right? We have a book, but as we pass it in, it's going to be copied into a new variable and it's going to be used inside of here. And the, the reason it's being copied into a new variable is because it's being passed by value, not by reference. So if you remember what happens when we pass it in by reference, when we pass it in by reference, it's actually going to be the same book that we're passing in. So what that means is that now this is being passed by reference. So what happens here is as we pass in the book here, 
this book inside of here, this book variable that we're messing around with inside of the function is going to be the exact same variable that we're messing with outside of the function, okay? And they can be different names, but it's actually, we'll say, we'll give it a different name here, but this, this is referring to literally the same variable, okay? So just a recap of what passing in by reference is, okay? Just in case you forgot for some reason. It's literally the same variable. And the way this is actually better is because since it's the same variable, we're not copying it over to a new structure. And the reason that's better is imagine that you have a really big structure, like instead of having three members here, you have maybe a hundred members just theoretically, right? And some of them are maybe even arrays, right? So as you can imagine, copying something like that would be really expensive for your computer to uh, be doing, right? That would use up a lot of RAM and such, you know? So um, passing it in by reference when you can is a good idea so that you don't have to needlessly copy the values into this whole second variable for you to work with. You can just use the same variable that you're working with. And um, since we're only uh, printing out the values, it's actually an even better idea to make this a constant reference book because um, constant is basically like um, a, a way for you to securely uh, mess with the book without editing it, right? Because if we were to, for some reason, do book.title is equal to whatever, um, it's going to give us an error here. It says no operator equals matches this operands, blah, blah, blah. And the reason that says, uh, the reason it says that is because it, it's able to recognize that it's a constant. You cannot change a constant, right? So if you pass it in um, by a constant reference, that's another way for you to make sure that you're only um, looking at the variable, you're not actually changing anything. But uh, yeah, hopefully it all makes sense. It's a pretty simple concept, I guess, but it's a little hard to explain. But yeah, all you're doing is passing it in by reference, which means that you don't have to copy all the values from book one over to book two, which is very good for the performance of your program, especially with big structures. This is a small structure, but just imagine in the future if you're working with a big structure, okay? Anyway, so that's how you do that. Um, what else do I want to show you? Um, let's say that we want to return a book from a function, right? How can we do that? So that's kind of a cool idea. What if we make a function that is able to return a book like this, return book, and we call this create new book. And so what are we going to pass into create new book? We can just pass in a string title, string author, and string ISBN. And we're going to use these three values to create our book, as you can see here, because those are the three values that a book is made of, right? So we could do book, book is equal to, and just pass in title, author, ISBN, just like that. And now we've created a new book, but we need to return a book as you can see, right? So we can just do return, return book, just like that, which is pretty cool, easy peasy. And um, so now let's test this out. Um, let's get rid of this here. So since we're gonna be returning a book here, we need to pass it, we need to store it into a book variable. We don't actually have to, but it's a good idea, right? If we're gonna be able to access it, right? So we'll do book, new book, is equal to, and we'll say create new book. And so we need a title, so unbroken. And that's gonna be by Laura Hillenbrand. This is a really good book, by the way, I recommend you read it. It's about a uh, prisoner of war during the World War II. He was a prisoner of war in the Japanese war camps. So uh, yeah, it's very interesting. He had a very interesting life. So read that if you know how to read. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's the right ISBN. I think it is. But um, now that we have created this book, oh wait, we don't know if we created this book, so let's run this and print out the values to make sure that it did. So we'll say new book, if I can type it, new book, see out, author, actually, we're, act, wait, actually, we, we don't need to do this, right? We, have, we already have created a display book function, right? So let's just use what we've already created, right? Common sense, right? So new book, just like that. So if this did work, what it did is basically first, it created a new book using the create new book function that we have here. We pass in the three strings and we use those three strings to create the new book. And then we're gonna return the new book. And we're gonna take that book that was just returned and then copy it into this variable here called book, okay? So that now that we have this book that we have here, we can pass it into display book and we're passing it in by constant reference, right? So it's just being passed by reference, and then we're just going to uh, display all of the values here. Not change it because it's a constant, right? So that means that we can't change it. We're only displaying stuff. We're accessing stuff, all right? Anyway, so it should work. So let's run this now and see if it does. Boom, we get uh, book info. Wait. Yeah, it does work. Okay, so book info, unbroken, written by Laura Hillenbrand. Okay, there we go. And then the ISBN, blah, blah, blah. 
pretty cool. Okay, so we know it works. Um, what else do I want to show you? Um, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to look at, I think we're going to look at um, using pointers with functions, I mean, uh, structures. And um, we're also going to look at how we, how we can uh, pass in pointers to functions and return them from functions. We'll save that all that for next episode, okay? Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It was pretty simple. All we're doing is pretty much the exact same thing we would do with the regular variables, but except this time we're going to be working with structures. So easy peasy. If you have any questions about what I showed you this episode, you can ask in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you. Or you can join our Discord server. We have a big Discord community with a bunch of people, as you can see here. Uh, we just reached 20, uh, 1,200 members, so go ahead and join. We need more C++ uh, people, so you can join this and ask questions if you ever need help inside of here, or just get some new friends if you don't have any, like this guy right here. Um, so yeah, that's about it for that. Also, I'll leave the code for this whole episode in the description below, so you can check it out, and there will be a bunch of like comments and stuff around it, so it can explain the concepts in text form. So yeah, make sure you bookmark that. I'll leave the link for that in the description, and come back to it later on if you need it. And uh, yeah, so one last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member uh, for as low as 99 cents a month, which is very awesome. So you can show your support for the channel if you want to. And you get some really cool perks, like you get a really cool Discord rank. Oh, no one's on right now that has the rank, but there's a really cool Discord rank that you can use or have if you're a uh, YouTube donator. So yeah, think about getting that. We also have the um, shout outs, as you can see on the screen right now. And then other than that, you can also get these videos ahead of time of everyone else. So if you want to see all these videos before everyone else, then go ahead and join the channel as a member. All right, so now that I'm done begging for money, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And...